up y'all it's your girl and i for kicks we are back with a sneaker unboxing um another sneaker unboxing as if we haven't done them before um but the first pair i want to talk about actually didn't come with the box which is why i was able to score them at a phenomenal price which is perfect for what i need them for i'm hoping at this point y'all have checked out the kicks for your soul event video um from the beginning of the month um that event was fire as always, but there was a pair that I was talking about, I was trying to find for a good price, and it's the Kobe Hall of Fame, the Undefeated collab, um, which by the way is not a pair that you see that often anymore, and I freaking about died when I saw them sitting on a table. Now they were dead stock, but they wore the exact pair in the size seven and a half, the exact size that I need, because I always size up about a half size on Kobe's I do feel that they run a little bit tight but guys see this is the problem that I have going to events is I don't know how to not get excited like I get so excited when I find that pair but it works against me I feel like I feel like it could go either way and it all depends on the seller does the seller want to be a total jerk and pick up on the fact that I'm overly excited and be like all right we can take every last penny that she has because she'll spend it on these shoes. Look how excited she is. Or it could go, oh my gosh, a legitimate sneakerhead that just loves the shoes. Let's cut her a deal so that we're not selling to another, you know, reseller, you know. So I think it all depends on the seller. I feel like I've gotten really, really lucky lately, but I'm always waiting for that one that's going to just take their chance to just get one over on me and I'm trying to control my excitement and my faces when I come across that pair anyhow so I did find the Hall of Fames um, on eBay I mean there's minor wrinkling to it I'm, I'm gonna get into the actual overview of the shoe in a second but the dead stock pair they wanted I think they wanted 300 or maybe they came down I think they came down to about 300 and honestly I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all like that price is not bad for that shoe a Kobe undefeated Hall of Fame size seven and a half for about 300 I think maybe they had even tried to drop it down like ten dollars more price was great but the reason I had to pass on it is because honestly with this shoe I wanted a used pair um, you know, Carib Fest is coming up in about a month in Virginia. The costume is a very serpentine style. Um, I can pop up a, a picture. Actually, matter of fact, I'm not going to pop up a picture because y'all are going to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Y'all are going to make sure that you hit that notification bell. I mean, while you're clicking buttons, go ahead and go give your girl a thumbs up for the video. Um, you can drop a comment while you're at it. Um, thank you in advance, but I need y'all to make sure that you tune into the annual Carib Fest video to see what the costume looks like that will go so beautifully with this pair. And when you see it, it's just going to click. It's going to be like, she nailed another like full fit for this whole carnival thing going on. Um, so anyhow, let me get into like the condition of the shoes so they were an ebay find i scored them for 150 bucks which i believe is even under retail and i mean honestly first glance guys like tell me these things aren't stupid clean for 150 bucks like the soles it, there's little to no wear and tear um i mean you do have you can see there's some fraying around the top of the tongues there which I'm not mad about. Like, honestly, again, guys, these are going to be worn to parade around the streets in Norfolk. So I didn't want anything that was pristine or anything I spent too much money on. Um, it is a fire pair. It's honestly not one that I thought I would ever have in the collection. I didn't see a need. But like I said, guys, you will see why it was such a need. And it's just a dope pair. Like, to add another Kobe into the collection. And it's a little little his and hers matching pairs so, oh we're so corny and cute on that note but guys again for a used pair at 150 bucks like i am not mad at these 
not at all um but let's go ahead and put these aside we'll get into the main pair for this video this pair i really before i even open the box i really like the colorway i like the story behind it i can really appreciate it as you know somebody who's so into art and the inspiration behind it is it something that i will personally wear I feel like there, I don't even know if controversy is the right word for this pair because there's not, I don't feel like there's a lot of controversy. It's like either you love them or you hate them. And I feel like I'm one of the few that's in the middle because it's such a fire execution, but the images are just a little, I would say they're a little too bold for your girl. Like I, I like things that are eye catching, but this is a different type of eye catching. Let me go ahead and break into this box and um pull them out and, and guys like i don't understand this box because normally i feel like there's like a, a pull tab but nike was like no no you wanted this pair you gonna work to get into the box to get this pair which is absolutely freaking ridiculous um i really don't know why they do that it's like either everything's nike all over or you can barely get into the box but at least it makes it really, really easy to see if it's been tampered with. So, all right, fine, fine, Nike, y'all can have that. So it is a pair of SBs. Um, this was a sneakers W in your girl size. So we do have the size seven. Um, I'm just seeing if it shows. So it didn't show exactly what it is, but I'm, I am pretty sure based on the precursor of what I said for the shoe, y'all know what this is. We do have the um, their skateboard dunks. I mean, the materials are great. I we saw these things all over Kicks for Your Soul. Like people had stacks of boxes of them. Which, by the way, that was early. Like the fact that so many people had so many pairs so early, it's just crazy to me. I don't know why it always blows my mind. Um, but I get. Like I said, guys, I totally understand the inspiration, um, the creative mind behind them. So, yes, I'm cheating. I'm using my phone to make sure I give y'all accurate information. If you don't already know about these shoes, I want. I always wonder if some people don't know like the backstory or the inspiration, and they're just like, "Oh, they're just dope shoes." Like I really like them, but then when you break down the details, it kind of it might change your mind for better or for worse. Um, so the designer behind them and the designer behind their skateboards is Jeffrey, I believe it's Chung. Don't come for me on pronunciations. Um, but so that's that's the designer. So he is like, a, I, I believe that they list him as like a queer Asian American. Um, so a lot of his artwork is what's all over the shoe. But, like, I just, I don't know, guys. Getting behind, essentially, a, a naked person on, I guess, like, their butt. But on my shoe, I just don't know that I can do it. And I'm just being transparent with you guys. Like, it's, it's so true to his artwork. Like, it really, all the little details, I mean, everything is embroidered. Like, it's not just some vinyl that Nike stuck on here. They embroidered all of these details so the craftsmanship that they like the details the quality even to the sole of the shoe i mean we're not done guys because there's plenty of extras that go with it it's a very like lgbtq plus type of shoe and i'm all here for the support i just don't know that i could personally rock it i think it's too much of a statement for your girl i will always back them i'm i'm not against anybody but it's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of, of, I'm not really sure. But again, guys, like I fully support the way that he has put his artwork all over it. As a fellow creative, like it's kind of amazing. Like even, look at even the skateboards. That's his thing. Like they're, they're him on a shoe. And I love that. I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this pair. But let me go ahead and show y'all like the other little extras that come with it. Um, so on the, 
inside of the tongue you do have like it's kind of like a love is love type of vibe right there with the imagery um you do have a couple other little lace dubrays that are even bolder um that bright orange on there i've seen people do one silver one orange i've seen people rock the heck out of this pair so i'm not knocking it you know you've got all the different laces i'm just going to throw laces all over the place guys um which honestly i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm kind of surprised that these laces are loose because normally they're all looped through the the laces that are already in the shoe but the laces are dope like they i don't think they gave us enough laces guys i'm kidding um i like the the different pattern to the orange ones you've got like like two shades of black it's one like lighter one's darker you've got your orange and your green i mean even the pair of laces that are in the shoes are crazy so you can definitely do some crazy different lace swaps different lace designs with these switch it up with the dubrays like there's so much opportunity for personalization just with what they gave you and again guys the designs i'm just like i don't even think i realized until right now on camera with y'all that the designs are actually like embroidered in this shoe it really is a beautiful pair i just I don't know if it's a pair for the collection i really don't but let me know let me know in the comments below guys like how do we feel about these did y'all understand the inspiration behind them the story behind them you know i feel like there's so many people out there that just don't care like they're dope the materials are dope the colors are fire the different laces the opportunities of how you can mix and match everything is so dope people just don't care and I love that, but I just ha hold myself to a certain awareness, but whatever, guys. Just let me know what your take on this pair is and how we feel about it. Um, but yeah, I, I would say that's two solid pickups that your girl grabbed, you know, between the two. So something you don't see all the time and then a recent release. So guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Keeping it simple for y'all. The shoe did enough talking. And as always, keep tuning in. See what I've got my eye on next.